Brand new scent release here from 8-Bit Beard Co. It is an awesome spin on a barber shop. It's called Mega Man 2. I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. So welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjo's YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm going to have to start changing what I say. I, I've used to say that I'm typically not a fan of barbershop blends because the old traditional barbershop blend is somebody had to put talcum powder in it. And I don't like that smell after about five minutes. Um, but the ones I've been getting recently are a lot different kind of takes on it, and I'm enjoying them much more. Um, so this one, let me go ahead and tell you about the uh, scent profile. You get the official scent profile, and then you read more on the website because there's a lot going on here. This is pretty complex, a lot more sophisticated and manly than um, than some of the other uh, takes on barbershops. Um, I think uh, Sean's biggest seller last year was the Cut Man, which had like the lemon lime carbonation mixed in with a barbershop. This is totally a different, much more sophisticated, much more cologne-like, at least to me. So let me tell you all about that. The official uh, scent profile says barbershop, sandalwood, and white musk. You get a lot more than that. Um, so then you read and it says, okay, it's fresh, clean, cool, uh, and crisp scent. That's, that's a little bit more accurate. And then you read that more on the description and you get the, the, the true breakdown here. So subtle, fruity, and floral top notes of jasmine and rose, hint of cool musk, and the dry down of birch, sandalwood, cedarwood, and musk. So that's what really gets you there. So I really like birch wood, uh, cedar wood, musk, a little bit of sandalwood uh, for the for the base notes. I love kind of a woody, um, uh, musky kind of base, and that's what this has on it. When it says subtle fruity top notes, I get like a just a hint of like lemon grapefruit. That's kind of what I get that kind of vibe uh, on it. And I really can't pick out the the floral jasmine and rose. A lot of, kind of colognes have that kind of stuff in it that you can't really smell it individually. So there's no uh, there's no rose or uh, jasmine that's going to knock you down. You for me, I can't really tell it's in there. Uh, besides knowing that it's in a lot of good colognes. Uh, that kind of thing. Hint of cool mint, but it's not minty at all. Whew, I love allergy season, so pardon me on that. But uh, really cool scent that for me leans more towards the cologne, like a new kind of cologne, uh, like a daytime cologne, uh, kind of a, a bright uh, kind of cologne. Um, got that little subtly sweet kind of notes to it with the with the base and the birch wood uh, put in there. I absolutely love this. Um, even if you're not a big fan of barbershops, if you like those kind of uh, bright, crisp cologne takes, I think you would like this one uh, as well. So uh, you can get this for um, $19.99 for an oil or a two ounce butter. Uh, however, if you're watching this in a timely fashion this weekend through at least tomorrow, which is uh, February 26th, uh, my Banjo 10 Affiliate Co. will actually give you 15% off which gets those down to like $16.99 a piece. So really cool there. Um, you can get, and by the way, anything on the website, you can get the 15% off uh, with the code BANJO10. All right, also a uh, part of the proceeds, Sean's always big in the community helping folks out. So there is something called Beards for Roman, which is a raffle uh, or, uh, organizer, but 5% uh, of the sales uh, is going to be given to uh, helping out Roman. You can click on the website and read. Uh, as a young man, this had to go through a lot of uh, health issues over his short lifetime. So you can check that out. Let me know if you've tried uh, when, when you try, let me know when you try this Mega Man 2 and see if you like it. I like it. It's definitely one of the top uh, scents for me now from uh, 8 bit and a really good candidate for uh, some good scents of the year here for 2023. It's been a good year so far for scents already, and it's only February, so I can't wait to see what else folks come out with. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.